So listen carefully to what you're about to hear. That's 501c4 Christian groups. You know, the guys that were sticking up for the working man in America. And Rat Boy McCain, along with Levin, sicked the IRS on Christians. Now, he wouldn't do it to Hasidims or Muslims. You see, you want to fly the flag at half staff? It's appropriate because this little midget doesn't deserve the flag to be higher than half staff. And I don't want to hear the bullshit about his service. This guy was a runaway ego freight train. His granddaddy and father were both four-star admirals. I have generals and colonels in my family. They've served at West Point through World War II, World War I. You know... A hero knows who he is. They were guys that served in every war that did the right thing for God's right reasons. And then there are people who were self-serving, vainglorious, ego-driven monsters like this guy. Same guy as Custer. Okay? I'm going to get my glory no matter how many trucks a dog tags it costs. And the sheer audacity, right? Read about what happened on the forest all 130 sailors killed because of this guy's freight train ego. They called him the songbird when he was in Vietnam. But boy, did he learn to toe the line and suck that big government tit. Get in the franchise and steamroll citizens of the country who care about righteousness for that sake only. That's, a, that's almost an exact quote. If I... Yeah, in fact, I'll read it. It's maybe the solution is to audit so many that it is financially ruinous. In other words, this is a staffer from the United States Senate, specifically uh, John McCain's former staff director and chief counsel of the Senate Homeland Security Permanent Subcommittee, suggesting that the IRS weaponize their audits to ruin these political advocacy groups. Oh, that's right. And uh, little did they know it was already taking place. Uh, and of course, the IRS, in the, according to the meeting notes, didn't push back. And Lois Lerner later said that, look, I'm running everything. 